Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're taking a look at the Terra Nova Pioneer 2 and the Terra Nova Southern Cross 2. It's a versus. I need a four season tent and one of these is gonna be my four season tent, but I need to decide which one. So genuinely, I've been out camping in them. I've had a good think about it. And now I'm gonna set them both up in the garden, have a little look around. We're gonna have a look at the specs and we're gonna choose a winner, which will be my four season tent. And then the runner up, will be put in a raffle which you can enter below right let's get them set up and let battle commence the southern cross 2 is quite easy to set up you just peg out the ground sheet use that as a guide Add your red poles into the eyelet, then slide your blue pole through the sleeve, peg it out, and it's job done. The Pioneer 2 is equally as easy. It has a red and a blue pole that go through the sleeves, then they marry up to the red and blue eyelets. Pop them in, peg it out, and you're good to go. Both tents take roughly five minutes to set up. And there we go, both set up. I found that the uh, the Pioneer 2 was a little bit easier to set up. It's more of a freestanding tent, so you can move it around once you've set it up before deciding where to peg it in. Similarly with the Southern Cross 2, but it's a little bit more finicky to set up. And you can see just by the size difference, the Southern Cross 2 is a lot bigger but then you've got your weight to consider but let's get into this one first and have a little goose around <laughs> right what have we got on the door we've we got the clips yeah we've got the same clips on the door that i love we've we got two on this one we haven't got two we do have that other clip at the bottom there which clips onto the other side of the door for in strong winds there we go still plenty of headroom in here but if i close up the door i know they're billed as a two-man but I'm not having it, <laughs> I'm not having it. You, you, you're definitely looking at a, a one and a half man here, a comfortable one person tent. There's ample room in here for me on my own. This is a three to four season tent, whereas the Southern Cross 2 is a true four season tent. I'll turn you around. This has got a defined head end with all the pockets. There's no pockets on the other side. So you've got one, two, three, three pockets there. Now it is a two door, as you can see the second door, well I don't know if you can see actually. So you don't have a vestibule in the second door, good for access, especially if there is two of you in here and good for checking your sunsets and sunrises if you're out on a camp, but you don't have the vestibule area to put your bags, which again for me makes it more of a one person tent or one and a half person tent. It's been a while since I've had this up. I've, I've forgotten a lot about it. I forgot it had just one vestibule that's shorter than the other one but i guess that's where the weight save comes in because uh because you're saving a, you're saving around 500 grams on this tent and plenty of room it feels good it feels safe i've had it out on multiple camps and i do feel completely safe in it i will say that the pegs that come with this one are a bit dogger they've all bent quite a bit from me i think i camped in the woods and the ground was a bit stony so i had to make a bit of a makeshift hammer and welt them in so that's probably my fault but the, the the pegs definitely aren't as good as on the on the southern cross too it feels good it's been a while since i've been in here and i like it it feels safe i think it looks cool and you've got the let's take you on the out let's get on the outside we've got this cap here which opens up and you can see the vents so vents on the top for condensation but the cap that fits over and stops the rain getting in and it looks very slick. The Southern Cross 2, which is a lot bigger and you can see it has a lower profile. Straight away you can see there's a lot more vestibule area and one thing that I love about this, you can peg down the doors and just have the door open a little bit and with the clip on there, and I have used that, that's a great feature. And then the other clip is on this very end, so you can straight over, there's not as much headroom in here as in the Pioneer 2. This is a true four season tent. It's got the material that goes all the way on the inside to keep you warmer. It has the vents at either side. Yeah. 
which lead outside there. Um, no vents in the top, but you can keep the side of the door open about six inches and it's got a little rain cover on there which will which will help and i have had it out and i didn't get a drop of condensation but the winds were very high and that helps to blow the air through and negates condensation ah, the good thing about this one is it does marry on both sides as well you've got the the vestibule on that side and this side at the same size so this is more of a two person you could i'd be happy camping in here with two people Less so in the other one, I would say that is more of a one and a half person tent. Right, let's run through some stats. The Pioneer 2 is a two person, three to four season backpacking tent. The packed weight, which is the tent only, is 2.02 kilograms. The packed weight, which is the tent and the footprint, is 2.31 kilograms. It has two doors and one porch. The packed size is 45 centimeters by 17 centimeters. The fly sheet is Watershed 40D Nylon Ripstop. The inner is 30D Nylon Ripstop. The ground sheet is Waterblock 70D Nylon PU. The poles are 8.5 millimeter Terranova Reflex. And the pegs, which they must have switched out since I got mine, are the Terra Firma pegs. So you get the same pegs on both tents. And the guy line is Dyneema Reflective. The cost of the Pioneer 2 is on sale at the moment and is £399. The Southern Cross 2 is a two person tent. The packed weight is 2.43 kilograms. It's got two porches and two doors. The pack size is 45 centimeters by 18 centimeters. It's a true four season tent. The fly sheet is Watershed 30D Nylon Ripstop. The inner is 20D Ripstop Nylon. The ground sheet is Waterblock 70D Nylon. The poles are 8.64 millimeter TN Reflex. And the pegs are Terra Firma pegs 13 grams. And the guy lines are Dyneema Reflective. One of the downsides of the Southern Cross is its price. It comes in at 900 pounds. Terra Nova have listened to some of the comments made and have offered me a discount code for you guys. So if you use the code here's SC30, you'll get 30% off both the Southern Cross 1 and 2. So that brings it down from 900 to 630 pounds. And you can use the code here's 20 to get 20% off everything else on the website that isn't in a sale. And so there it is, it was a tough decision. I've had some good memories in the, uh, in the Pioneer too, but I think if I'm just gonna have one tent, it's gonna have to be this one because I will be camping with other people and I've, <laughs> I've had this out in very high winds and it didn't let me down that that just gives me the confidence i can't keep them both they're too similar to, for me to justify keeping them both so the pioneer too saddens me to say but i will be getting rid of that i'll be raffling that off so if you want to be in with a chance of winning the pioneer too i'll leave a link below you can check it out there a portion of the money does go to mental health uk and as always i appreciate the support take care of yourselves thanks for watching bye for now Thank you.